What's up people, this is Vishal and I'm back with another code along session. So get your laptops out and let's code. Let's look at the problem now. So we have a question here which says write an add helper function which uh, takes input of n arguments and adds them all. And the example um, statements are add 10, add 10, 20, 30, add 10, 10, 10 and the expected output should be sum of all the numbers that are passed and all these statements um, which is equal to 100. So the people who want to try it on your own, just pause the video right here and uh, come back to me later and we'll see the solution together. And the people who want to watch the solution with me, please stick around. So uh, the very first thought that we get in our heads for solving this problem is uh, just to create a simple uh, uh, glo uh, global variable or uh, which is going to store the result of all the uh, all the statements and executions. So uh, the problem with uh, global variables is it is uh, going to be in the global scope and hence every code that we write will have access to that particular uh, uh, variable and any anything any anything outside our code can modify that variable so we don't want that and hence we are going to go ahead with the concept of closure so let's get into it so we'll write a function const adder equal to a function and uh, this function will basically initialize the value of result equal to zero and inside our uh, function this is going to return another function which will take the input of the arguments okay so uh, the concept of closure is very simple so we will have a outer function uh, which will basically define the scope for that complete function and the inner function uh, and it will always return an inner function which is uh, which is which which will have access to the scope of that uh, outer function okay so anything outside this uh, function uh, this adder function is not going to uh, have access to the result but everything inside this uh, adder function will have access to the result and hence uh, we are basically keeping our result in a confined space and it is not on the global space okay so this function uh, is going to return another function which is having args so this is the function which is going to basically receive all the uh, arguments which is 10 10 20 30 and 10 10 10 so we since we are not sure uh, how many arguments we are going to get so we are will just write a restructuring logic over here which will be triple dot of args what, what this does basically is um, it is going to store all the arguments into an array args and then we can loop over those and do the sum to loop over each element of um, this args variable or to loop over each argument uh, you can either write, write a simple for loop or uh, for this case I'm going to return, uh, use array.reduce so the way we write it is, is result equal to args.reduce which is going to receive a callback and it will have a init value so for our case the init value is going to be result so the people who don't know how to uh, what array.reduce is you can basically come to uh, search it on google come to your uh, mdn documentation and you can see that array.reduce um, takes the argument of a callback which and the callback will have the argument of accumulator and the current value and uh, array.reduce will also receive an initial value for which will basically be responsible for initializing our accumulator okay so coming back to our code for um, our case the result is going to be uh, our init value so the accumulator and current value are going to be inside our callback as arguments now result is going to be the init value so on the first case the result is zero so zero will be the init value and all we need to do in this callback is just uh, uh, do sum of the two numbers which is accumulator plus current value so we will go over uh, the execution one by one so let me just complete the code first and then we'll go um, execution over each statement and see what is happening um, and we would also want to return result 
so that we have access to the result anytime uh, we would want so this is then this is done uh, so this is uh, pretty much about the solution actually so all we need to do now is uh, just write const add equal to adder so we are basically uh, calling the outer function which is basically setting the scope of result and is returning uh, an inner function which is the actual function which is going to do the sum so we are storing that inner function inside the, our uh, add variable now all we need to do is just call add 10 and uh, we'll call add uh, 20 30 and we'll have 10 10 and since uh, I'm also returning the result, so I now want to look at the result. So we'll just have const result equal to this. And we'll write console.log of result. All right, so this should basically uh, re return the output as 100. So let's see. We'll go back to our code long, refresh, and uh, here's our result, which is 100. Now we'll go over uh, the execution step. So first we call adder function, which is basically uh, setting the scope and returning the uh, inner function. And in the inner function, in the first statement, we call uh, args as 10. So triple dot of args is going to be an array, uh, which will have only one value that is 10. And uh, result equal to uh, args dot reduce. So on the first statement, when we executed for the first time, the result is basically zero because we have never modified any value here. And uh, when we do args.reduce, we do basically zero comma 10 and zero plus 10 is going to be uh, 10. And uh, that's what is returned from uh, args.reduce. Uh, and uh, the new value of the result is then 10. Okay. And when we come to the second uh, uh, statement, which is passing the arguments 10, 20, 30. So what happens here is uh, the we, we are basically modifying the uh, result in the outer scope. So we are never resetting the value. And uh, when we say add 10, 20, 30, we are basically directly executing this function. So when this function executes, the init value of our uh, array.reduce is going to be uh, the value that was there after the previous statement. So with the, after the previous statement, we had the value as 10. So the result uh, in the second statement is now going to be 10. So that becomes our init value and that becomes the accumulator value as well when the loop starts running. So the first uh, current value for our uh, this statement is going to be 10. Accumulator is already 10 because of the last statement. So 10 plus 10 is equal to 20. So 20 is our new accumulator value and the current value will be 20 now. So uh, 20 plus 20 is equal to 40. And uh, then, then the 40 is returned and 40 becomes the new accumulator value. And the current value now is 30. So 40 plus 30 is equal to 70. And now that now we don't have any other value to loop upon. So 70 is basically the return to the uh, uh, result. So result is equal to 70 now. So uh, on the next statement, now the init value is going to be 70. And uh, this uh, uh, reduce is after uh, the execution of the complete uh, third statement is going to make the result as 100. And that's what is the current value of the result, which we are accessing and uh, console logging. And hence we are seeing the result as 100. Now I can go uh, crazy on this one and just add uh, as many values as possible. It has no restrictions. And uh, now when I refresh, so we have the sum here. All right, so that's pretty much about the solution guys. And uh, we saw how closures actually work. So let me know um, uh, in the comments if you have any other solution or if you have any doubts. And uh, please like, share and subscribe my channel so that uh, we can do more such code along in the future and talk more about front-end engineering in uh, my further videos. Thank you.